here we are sitting in the dining room of my house. Uh, it's about two o'clock on Sunday. I'm uh, really anxious to, to leave here shortly to head out to the river. I was out at Bermuda Triangle yesterday, and this is going to be a, a short film on Bermuda Triangle. It's been a couple years since it's been really good. Uh, show some footage here shortly of uh, the confluence coming down and the fish ladder, which is a man made fish ladder. It's never really functioned well for the fish, but it's created a really epic spot for us, depending on the year. Uh, we get really high water in the spring. That Since that, that fish ladder is man-made, stuff is always fluctu fluctuating in there, and, and some years it's great, and some years it's not so great. And I was so stoked to be able to have a really great day. Uh, hopefully we'll go out later today, um, have a day that's really similar to yesterday, have some really good footage to be able to share with you all. Um, be able to share a little bit with you and hopefully you can come out and experience a little bit for yourself with the, the short season that we have with it. But definitely one of my favorite spots in the Potomac, so enjoy. But I also wanted to expand a little bit upon that, just give a little bit of a background maybe for some folks that don't really know what squirt boating is. Uh, squirt boat is a really ultra low volume kayak uh, designed by Jimmy Snyder, um, at least most of the boats are, and his whole theory behind the squirt boat is using the boat as a wing, very similar to the way an airplane uses the wind, except the medium with a squirt boat is water. And you use the currents of the water to engage your wing and get down into the water. And you take a short ride, anywhere from 10 to upwards to 45, 50 seconds. Some of us are getting close to a minute these days. And it's just a feeling of uh, weightlessness, spinning around in these circles. You get great visuals with goggles, looking at bubbles. And I remember being in a, a group where we had an icebreaker question. And the question was, where do you experience the most peace in your life? And it was such an easy thing for me. Uh, that area, that place where I experienced the most peace is just being locked in and engaged in a mystery move. Uh, this feeling of weightlessness, being one with uh, another medium, being one with water, seeing bubbles, um, and just being in another world for, for a brief period of time. And that just gives me tremendous amounts of peace. It's what bring, brings me back over and over and over again. So today, we're heading out shortly to one of my favorite spots on the Potomac River called Bermuda Triangle. Thought I would uh, give you a little bit of a taste of what it's like to be there. Um, give you some footage from up top and maybe some footage with uh, some rides that are taking place, what a mystery movie this really, really looks like and, and really feels like. So I hope you enjoy.